Yeah. How's everybody doing? It's raining up here where I'm at. So hopefully wherever you are, you're safe and you and your family are covered by the protection of the angels because there are a lot of storms going on right now. Uh, prayers up for everyone that is in Texas right now because they've experienced a lot of severe weather. Um, that whole Gulf region, because it is hurricane season. But before I go any further, Grand Rising, good afternoon and good evening, honey. Whatever time you click on this reading is the right time for you. And I thank you in advance for your viewership and support. Um, I wanted to do this reading yesterday, but I just didn't have time in my schedule. So, you know, no time like now. I wanted to get off into the energy between Armand Wiggins and Kim Barbie, because it's a huge tug of war between those two. And, you know, some people are expecting Cardi to get in between the both of them and settle this down. But, you know, she's minding her business. So I'm going to tap in. I'm going to start off with some oracles to see what the energy is around these two. Now, interesting enough, it's like it's been a powder keg between these two gentlemen for the last few weeks. And I wanted to see how this is going to balance out. Um, Armand has definitely had issues with people in the media as well for the last few weeks. Um, TGIF is officially canceled. Um, I think that may be part of why we're seeing this side of Armand right now. The other side is sometimes it's hard for people who do commentary on others to accept the commentary that's given to them, you know, on self. So without any further ado, can someone please timestamp this for the two minute and 40 second mark? And I'm starting off with the What's Tea Oracles. Show me the energy between Ken Barbie and Armand Wiggins. What's tea? Okay, so we have ignoring, falling out first, but inside scoop is at the bottom of the deck. Um, it says a close-up look, nosy, up in your business. So, baby, that's funny as all get out because that shows right there as much as, you know, Armand says that he's not, you know, paying these people any attention they can't get any of his time, any of his focus. He's invested in finding, you know, certain information or researching. It's almost like doing recon on an app. So it's not necessarily that he may go out and get it, but he definitely got foot soldiers that'll get it for him. Oh, fake flexing and always partying, baby. Now, fake flexing just fell out. Then it says, act, act rich, flosses money, acts fancy, shows off, etc. Bottom of the deck, always partying. So, I got a funny feeling that there's going to be some very personal information that could come out very soon between these two gentlemen. Um... This is what happens when the gloves come off. This is why people tell you keep it cute and keep it mute. So we've got rejected and reflecting. So the energy around our mind right now is, you know, he's thinking about how things aren't quite working out the way that he thought or the way that he expected now that the show is over and P 
people are not really in his corner the way he thought they would be. Oh, bottom of the deck, broke ass. Y'all, like I said, it, it could get really interesting in the next few weeks. Um, everybody who watches me on the regular knows that I told them to really pay attention to what's up during cancer season because cancer season is going to be bunkers, just period. Your cancer, it's like cancer is the, the pivotal part of the year where what goes up must come down. Okay, so want you back in cyber bully. So that can mean a plethora of things, but what I'm getting is, you know, he wanted to come back to that job. He wanted to go back to TGIF Friday. Um, it says you are being bullied online or as they have, I don't know, baby, I don't know who did the print work for this card. I need them to go back and redo the third grade. Y'all read this. It's, this is not just me. Look at this. Sometimes when the cards are too affordable, it's for a reason. <laughs> so, as it says, you are being bullied online or they are as suffered from it. ETC for etc. So he feels like the whole world is against him, that people have turned on him. Um, he wants to be in the in circle, in the winning circle, but right now it's just, it's more so a time of reflection for him. It's a time for him to, you know, sit back, look over his life, think about what he really wants to do, the direction that he wants to go in. And sometimes when the universe wants you to relax, if you don't relax, if you don't chill, if you don't pace yourself, they'll, they'll throw you, you know, some kind of monkey wrench in your plans to force you to sit back and reevaluate. And this is where we are right now. Um, interesting enough with this person that's talking about cyber bullied, this person has a phone in their hand. They look like they're dressed for the cold and they're sitting in front of like two different monitors. So this would be like a workspace, you know, if you worked in social media, um, especially for a vlogger. But he has to be careful with this because it can come off as obsessive. It can come off as there are issues. And, you know, when things happen and there's nothing you could do about them, the best thing you can do is trust the process, release the grief, and give that situation to God, to the universe, okay? Because if you don't, the very thing that you let take up rent in your mind will be the thing that will come back and railroad you. So we've got crying over you and creeping. Okay, so interesting enough with that. Um, that crying over you, sad, hurt, upset, etc. That shows me that... Um, our mind is really a softy, okay, when it comes down to it. He's not as rough and tough as people think. Like, he has a tough exterior. He pops a lot of shit. Yeah, I get it. But he's really, you know, you know how a crab has the outer shell, the tough exterior, but once you get in on the inside, everything is soft? That's more so how our mind is. And we've got hustling, making it rain, focus, money, getting it together. So, you know, this is why the universe wanted him to slow down because, you know, it's one thing to hustle and to get the money, get to the money, but you also have to be focused on where do you want your life to go? What are your focus? What are your goals? Um, I feel like there's a spiritual path that our mind was supposed to take. And he took a detour. 
and the universe, you know, decided, hey, if you're going to take a detour, we're going to detour your path until it guides you back to the spiritual path. Fake accounts, fake social media account to spy Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So <laughs> I would not be surprised if he has dummy accounts where he listens in on people squared or whatnot so that he can hear everything directly in real time. And we got love triangle at the bottom of the deck. So in this situation, it's not even that it's a love triangle. It's a um, not in a romantic sense. It's a triangle between friends. So you have two men fighting over a woman that they want to be able to show that they are the best at who they are. Almost like peacocking in, you know, some of a way. Like, pardon me with the light. I had to move it a little bit. Yeah, peacocking in sort of a way. Like, you know, um, I've earned my keep. I'm her real best friend. I am the one who is here for X, Y, and Z. You're just an associate. And I get that more so from the Ken Barbie side. Uh-oh. Let me find what just flew on the floor. So we've got no facts. Never has the facts makes a <laughs> damn. Make shit up lies. Okay. So this is getting very, very interesting because. This goes from the fake accounts to no facts, never has the facts, makes things up, makes shit up, okay, lies. And I feel like that, you know, falls under our mind possibly, you know, watching or having people that he's close to watching. Um, what just came out, though, was dodging bullets, blocking negativity, escaping crazy people protected by haters. And this falls under ignoring. Now, I always thought, okay, I had to let that siren go by. I always thought that even the wording on this card was very interesting because it says protected by haters. So this situation is becoming so preposterous that it's bringing people together who normally wouldn't even be in the same um, blogosphere, so to speak. So it's going to be an interesting alignment because the bottom of this is, ooh, y'all, I want to show you just the way that I see this before I shuffle. Okay, you see that? Threatening bankruptcy. So, next card is fake flexing, and that backs up the fake flexing, threatening bankruptcy. So, like I said, do not be surprised what could possibly come out if this is not, you know, uh, pushed under the table and both you know, parties decide to separate from this because this can get very messy. Um, it's interesting enough, though, as hard as Kim Barbie goes, I feel like he actually is the one who may want to walk away from this before it goes too far. Because once it goes too far, it's like, I'm mad now, bitch, I'm a loose cannon. Threatening, intimidating, threatened, bothered. And this is under fake flexing, okay? So, wow. Talking shit. 
Ja. This is one of those situations that I think is an avoidable catastrophe. It's one of those things of, you know, somebody just happened to walk away and let things go. It would not be a bad idea because I don't see this going in the best direction if it lingers too long. And see, here's the love triangle, okay? And it's falling under rejected and reflecting. So now it's like our mind is going through feeling, you know, rejected over, you know, the job, rejected by certain professional um, relationships, you know, with different people in the industry. Hold on, what is this just flipped over? Yep, in their head, overthinking, stressed, overanalyzing, wants you back. So that goes back to the job. Like, you know, like he said before, I'm on vacation, this, that, and the other. And now it's, you know, over indefinitely. Like, he really did want to go back to work. He really did want to go back to that job. Baby. Yeah, the bottom of the deck is divination abuser and travel. Oh, shoot. Wait a minute. The whole deck want to get out my hand now. <laughs> it was the first time I ever had that happen. Wait a minute. Because I don't want to... Lord, I want to put cards back in here. There we go. I want to put cards back in here that were already on the table. So, <laughs> it's something to that divination abuser because everything slid out my hand at that point. Let's not fight fire with fire, especially not that way. Yeah, see what I mean? Inside scoop, dust it off. This is like going back, finding some old tea that is prevalent and is prevalent enough to take it and build a story with it. It says, a closer look, nosy, up in your business, okay? And this is falling under the threatening threatened intimidated bothered card lord giving money clout hungry so y'all see this right giving money clout hungry so that right there is showing me that there's so much going on with this situation to where who you when i say this is better left you know um on the cutting room floor because our mind's gonna have to watch it you gotta watch what you're saying you have to watch how you move you gotta watch how you deal with people right now because you're, you're making a lot of enemies Yeah, dust it off and it's falling under the overthink overthinking, excuse me, crying over you and wants you back. Um, I'm hearing Aaliyah dust yourself off and try again. If at first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again. So that's more so speaking to like if that wasn't the opportunity for you, take your time, do your content. Stay out of this loop with the drama and something else better suited for you will come along. But you got to slow down so that you can see what 
you know, the universe is putting in place for you. Jackpot, winning money, got rich, inheritance, unexpected money. And this is falling under creeping, crying over you sad. So, you know, this job was, you know, a godsend to him. This was a blessing because it's like, you know, this, this money, it, it was like hitting a lottery. And you've got this too busy winning here. And then that's the way he felt while everything was good. Baby, I keep telling y'all stay out these murky waters. Here it is. Spiritual hater hates on your spirituality, light, magic, and power. Oh my gosh. A thief. And it says rob, loss, theft, emotional. Was it physical or emotional? Caught a case, sexual infection, sexual disease, rash, baby. See what I mean about how this can get really dirty if somebody does not decide to, you know, exit stage left. And this is something that could come out of nowhere, hooked, okay? And scarcity tactics. So, Hooked in scarcity tactics is letting me know that there are issues that need to be put under control because these issues are going to really, really take our mind under. He, he's got to be careful. He's got to be very careful at this point because he's, 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 um, He's toting a very thin line. Says too busy winning and it's no facts, never has the facts, makes up shit, lies, moving on. So somebody is deciding to move on from this situation, which I think is a great idea because it's going to get way too personal. And when I say personal, I'm talking about rolling down in the mud and the slop with the pigs, you know, down in in the pig pen. This this is not going to be good if this gets too personal. And it should never ever get this personal. So now I'm about to get off into some tarot. Um Funny how I put way more energy for our mind than uh, Ken Barbie. Ken Barbie has a temper, but his energy still feels way more calm, if that makes sense. Let's see what deck am I going to use. All right, so Kim Barbie, um, I'm going to start with you and I'm going to close with our minds since I pulled more of our minds energy the last time. Angels, ancestors, and spirit guides of the highest heavenly order, show me the energy around Kim Barbie. Uh, what is this situation to him? What is this situation to him? Kim Barbie, what is this situation to you? Independent woman. Okay, so independent woman and judgment falls at the bottom, meaning that this is a final end. Um, also, the independent woman is someone who practically has everything in the bag. Okay, they don't really need much of anything from anybody. Um, independent woman is only one pinnacle away from having the ten of pentacles, which is everything they ever wanted anyway. So they don't need much from an outside party. You know, it's it's appreciated, not necessary, not needed type of vibe. Okay, let's see. So we've got the devil card here. And um, devil card, once again, can represent toxicity, you know, hot-tempered also. This is the card of 
you know, someone who can be a little obsessive. Um, but I want to dig into that to find out why the, the devil is here. Oh, bottom of the deck. Say no more. Um, it's temperance. He wants balance through a new beginning due to this toxicity. What's showing up under this? Yeah, six of swords. And he he wants to walk away from all this toxicity, all this drama. He really don't have this to give. So I knew I was right when I was feeling that energy from the beginning that Kim Barbie has a temper, but does doesn't feel like going off on a tangent. Doesn't feel like, you know, having a situation escalate to the next level. If it um I totally get that if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. It's not necessary. So what's the point type uh, energy? Okay. So we've got the seven of wands here that falls out right after the devil. Okay. And then we've got the world, which means, you know, I've, I'm standing up for myself. I'm defending myself. I said what I said. And once I say what I need to say, I'm going to bring this whole situation to a close. I'm done with this cycle. I no longer want to be bothered with this energy. King of Swords. Wow. So King of Swords is very assertive. This is a no-nonsense type person. Being that it fell out in the upright, this is someone who is um, coming in the spirit of truth. And they will go off with your head like Maria Antoinette. And this is that harsh communication arguing type energy. So it's definitely somebody who it can get that way with. But this is like, you know, the, the energy of I, I will lay you to rest like you know, a, a, a judge, jury, prosecutor, and then I'm done with it. The world, end of a cycle, balance through a new beginning. There's temperance showing her face again. So he wants to move away from this. He doesn't want to be bothered with this. I just saw temperance, excuse me, the tower as I was shuffling. He doesn't see this as a good thing. And you know, um, the Hierophant represents institutions, but it also represents um, high-level law enforcement. So he wants to bring this to an end before it goes too far because, you know, he doesn't want to mess up his opportunities, whether it's in the street, whether it's with, you know, higher people in the industry that he's in alignment with. Um, and, and this is more so why Kim Barbie wants to close this out. Cause it's like, I don't have time to play around with you. I got stuff to do and I got shit to lose. Yeah. Offers. So Knight of Cups, who Knight of Cups to the Knight of Wands. I ain't even about to get off it. <laughs> Damn. I'm not even about to get off into that. But baby, was T was T, okay? I just put away the was T deck. Goodness gracious. So yeah, he, he's got other offers coming from, you know, uh, people in very high positions, companies. Um, I'm hearing marketing, things of that level. So he's more worried about the offers coming in and they're coming in very swiftly. Um, so this is bad for business. Okay. So we've got the five of swords falling under the independent woman and the chariot. So it was definitely on go. Okay. Don't get it twisted. Kim Barbie was ready for the shenanigans, but it's like, you know what? When I look at the bigger picture, this is toxic. I already, you know, stood my ground. I defended myself. Now I'm going to push forward. Six 
six of pentacles. So, you know, um, what's the six of pentacles under the devil? Because it's like, okay, so you're going to use this toxicity to make money, to make unearned income. So this this could all be monetized on both ends and it's a wish fulfillment like if i'm gonna pay you attention somebody gonna pay me type energy and that's another reason why ken barbie could be deciding to move on because it's like okay this is getting old this is getting stale um i'm usually not out here in the front of the house like this and I'm not trying to mess up my name in the algorithm. Yeah. So, Knight of Pentacles falling under the Seven of Wands. That's interesting enough because it's like, you know, he realizes, like I said, going back and forth with Armand and being combative with Armand could slow down his money. And you've got the Queen of Cups down here at the bottom of the deck. The Queen of Cups is the most intuitive queen out of the deck until you can get to, you know, the Empress or the High Priestess. So I definitely feel that um, Kim Barbie is more aware you know when it comes to how this is going to affect the bottom line the overall assessment of his brand and it's like okay going back and forth with you this is toxic you know yeah it could have made a couple of dollars but eventually it's going to slow down my money And here's that Queen of Cups and Wish Fulfillment. So it's like, it's his intuition telling him that this is a wish fulfillment for you, Armand, to drum up whatever this drama is to keep your name in the algorithm because as long as you're in the algorithm, you make money. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be true. This is just the energy I'm getting on Kim Barbie's side. So we've got the Empress here and it falls under the world, which means that this whole situation is, is done. It's a wrap. Um, he doesn't want to bring an end to things that he wants to birth into existence, things that are going to be fruitful and multiply. Yeah, so you got the three of wands here falling under the Hierophant. And once again, that goes back to higher level opportunities coming in. Nine of swords at the bottom of the deck. That's someone who doesn't sleep well. So it's like, here it is. Um, you've got justice here falling under this um, Knight of Cups. And Armand is going to have to be very careful with how he deals with Kim Barbie because Kim Barbie is not what he's used to. I, I really have a feeling that this is, this is definitely not what he's used to. Um, also, it, it would behoove Armand right now to not be argumentative in public spaces and places, even online, because of the types of enemies that he's attracted recently in the industry. It's it's like, you know, all things said and considered can and will be used against you in a court of law. I don't know why they're telling me like that. Hell, I ain't hope ain't nobody going to jail. So we're going to do our mind and then we're going to close this out. Y'all, 
just took these out the deck. Look at this. Tower is the first thing out at the bottom of the deck. Why is there a tower? Okay, so you've got six of swords, two of cups, so two of cups doesn't necessarily have to mean relationship type energy. That can just be, you know, um, anything that you're contracted in that was supposed to be a good fit for you is moving on due to toxicity. This happened while people were watching and the decision was made by the higher ups, the hierophant. So yeah. This is all tying back into the TGIF Friday situation. And then other things that he's said and done in the past that he's not, he either hasn't realized yet were a problem or things in the past that may not have been a problem then that are catching up now. Yeah. And see, not only that this happened, but it happened in front of everybody as a tower. And as you can see, it was like lightning hitting and everybody was ejected from that tower. And this was an unrequited offer or issue, four of cups. Man. Six of cups. So like I said, energies from the past. Um, now, I'm going to turn this around, but I will acknowledge it because I usually don't do any reversals in my deck. The reader in reverse and up under it is death. That's letting me know that um, our mind has gotten, once again, you've gotten away from whatever your spiritual calling is. Um, not being tapped into your intuition brought a situation to an abrupt end, and it's an indefinite end. And see, justice, this is a karma card, king of swords. Now, I believe that I was told that Armand is a Gemini. King of swords is an air sign, okay? What is it with this justice? Here's that devil again. The devil, the nine of swords, and the reader. Now, had I not have turned that reader back right side up, okay? Had I not have turned that reader back right side up, this is someone who is in a, a toxic energy who is not tapped in or paying attention to their intuition. And there's a lot of sleepless, restless nights, a lot of worry. Um, I feel like he worries himself tremendously when people aren't around. Um, And he has to he has to get out of his head because the seven of swords this is how you got in this energy in the first place of sneaking around collecting swords which is you know communication from all these different people like you you worry yourself into situations you have so much anxiety that it's it's causing you almost like a paranoia yeah so and this right here is what laid this employment to arrest four of swords to the eight of pentacles <clears throat> and like i said the two of cups didn't represent love this time it represent it represented excuse me an opportunity that felt like it was tailor made for you it was a good fit for you but it's gone now for good and it's due to toxicity and this queen of cups once again it's you know card of intuition so he's gonna have to really get tapped back in with his intuition and whatever his spiritual practices are to get balance because here's that that seven of swords okay and it's like that's being sneaky, deceitful, deceptive in front of people because this is the page of swords and the hierophant. Um, 
I don't think he realizes just how frowned upon his behavior really was. Um, it may just now be sinking in, okay? It may just now be making sense to him why this is such a big deal, why this is such a problem. Yep, here's that Queen of Cups. So, like I said, the intuition, it, it didn't kick in until after the tower. Like, damn, what, what happened? What did I do? And then it's the unrequited issue, um, the offer, which is the rescind of an offer, Four of Cups. And it happened very, very fast, came out of nowhere. And, you know, King of Wands is someone who's, you know, fly and flashy. This is a hustler. This is someone who has a very um, inviting and impressive energy, but they can be very hasty. And that's what led to this Four of Cups. And now you got the Five of Pentacles being shunned out in the cold, possibly, you know, taking a huge hit to your pocket. Yep, Ace of Wands. So it's forward movement. And this is aggressive, and this is for past actions, whether this be actions attached to this show or, like I said, other things that are catching up now that, you know, have been said and done throughout the years. And now it's like the weight of the world is on your shoulders. Ten of Wands, this is that feast and famine type energy, uh, energy excuse me. Ace of Swords, the card that represents truth, and it's falling under justice. Justice is almost, you know, it's not just legal, it's a karmic balance card. And I do feel that he wants to apologize, but it's, it's like that, what's that One Republic song, it's too late to apologize? Like, Al is very dead set in his feelings. Yep judgment and see this is like you know someone being held in contempt okay so due to the toxic energy it's like if you had a read the room and paid better attention to the vibe that was going on um actually peaked up because I, I believe he was reading from a paper. Had he have peeked up from the paper, he may have seen that he was going way too far because everybody else had a, a very cringy energy. Um, Al kept that smile, but you could tell that at any second, one of those front teeth were about to fracture because his jaws were starting to clench. Um, Claudia, she, you know, got to the point where she was hiding her face. And it seemed like all of this was happening around our mind, but our mind was oblivious. He was in the zone. He was tapped in. He wasn't in tune with the vibe that was going on on that live. Page of Wands. Um, interesting enough, you got the Page of Wands and the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So Page of Wands represents new actions and ideas, new ways to go about things um, due to the situation with the job, how he's going to move forward from here on out. Baby, listen. Eight of Swords, Six of Wands. And the Ten of Swords. That's a heavy betrayal. Um, he's He needs to be very, uh, when I say very careful, even with going out. Um, he's, he's prone to 
the spiritual energy of flare-ups around him right now, and that would be a tower as well. He doesn't need to get into it with anyone because it can go way too far. It's just the energy that is around him right now. He's meant to be away from everybody so that he can reconnect with the energy of what it is that he's supposed to do. Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups. So I, I do get the energy that there was a female presence that, you know, shared information with him. That was true, but it was supposed to be, you know, tongue in cheek under the table type information. And this person even thought that he was more tapped in and more intuitive than what he came off you know, asked during that roast. So it was just a total shock. And it was, you know, um, disheartening even when the roast went in a direction that it went in because it's like, well, I be damned. I didn't think he was going to go do that. And then here it is. You've got the Four of Cups over the King of Wands, which represents an unrequited offer attached to someone someone's actions and those actions were a direct you know um betrayal this is like you know you stabbed me in the back and it happened quite swiftly like i had no time to run or duck for cover queen of wands this was a hangman for this queen of wands that's very highly visible woman, this beautiful woman, um, because there were things that were said that were attached to past energies, uh, past actions, and there was a lot of passion in what was being said. And like I said, it led to a hangman. And this, this pretty much brought the karmic balance to the end of the show attached to this truth. And after that, it was every man for themselves, everybody fighting. And here's the weird thing. The bottom of my deck is like it was a wish fulfillment. At least at the time, this was a wish fulfillment. You meant to shake it up, but baby, you ain't think you was about to break it up. You broke everything up. And that judgment fell on this uh, Four of Wands, which is like, you know, stability, commitment, contract, negotiation, and agreement. And yes, they were going, you know, they, they were thinking either or with this show. But what I get is that had the show have continued, and I'm gonna have to preface this with allegedly, had the show have continued, it would have gone into television. But now the world will never know. The show is over. And our mind is going to find out what having strong enemies in high places is like. Because they're going to try to freeze him out in every possible way that they can. But interesting enough, it feels like this was in God's plan because there's something that Armand is meant to do that he's been running from for a very long time. And it is a part of his path. Let me see. I'm going to do a couple kippers and we're going to close with the kippers. All righty. Show me the closing energy between Kim Barbie and Armand. So we got thoughts in the main male. Funny thing is, both of them consider themselves the main male, but the thoughts are attached to, you know, the woman. So that's Cardi. Family room at the bottom of the deck. And concern, coffin. So 
it's like one person is considering how to bring this situation to an end. The other person is concerned about all these different relationships coming to an end. All these relationships coming to a close. Everybody that they know, all the opportunities that they've known throughout these years are just changing up. Family room and the mature woman. So, Cardi may not have said anything, you know, publicly, but I do have the feeling that she wants them to dead this. Um, that may have been something that she said behind the scenes that, you know, go ahead and bring this to an end. Y'all need to wrap this up. The mature woman in the house. Okay, so kudos to her if that is what she told them because this can go somewhere way too far and it doesn't need to so we're going to close this out here yeah pathway to poverty and i listen i kept getting that eight of swords for a reason pathway to poverty and imprisonment <coughs> excuse me sheesh so i'm going to end this here like i said um our mind got some serious decisions to make about changing the trajectory of what he's doing before it causes him more problems i see ken barbie just you know eventually he's going to let this go and get to the money and do what he does best <coughs> excuse me i don't know what the hell brought that dry cough about but I'm going to end this here. Go get me some water. Have a great day, everybody. And I'm going to be quick to try to upload this so it can go up today. Talk to y'all later. Be blessed. Bye-bye, y'all.